Hello everyone and welcome back to the Gamers Lounge. This is Michael bringing you um, Animal Kart Racer 2. This is the sequel. It's a little bit better than the first one, but not by much. And it's developed by um, oh, Mark Verlack Technic, I believe. It's um, a third party uh, indie developer. And I like to review these games by these various indie developers because I think they're a talented bunch to produce something like this that they can bring to the world and put themselves out there and hopefully bring us something memorable that can enter the realms of greatness and that everybody's going to love. Now, we're going to go straight into it. We're going to go into single track. Let's see. Now, first of all, you start off with a small assortment of uh, eight racers. We'll choose this skunk. And you start with eight tracks. Now, I'm playing it in single race. And by doing that, I've unlocked two tracks, Neon City and Dirt Race. So I suppose by playing single race, you can unlock a few more. The rest you must unlock in tournament mode. Anyway, let's get straight into it. Now, I try and be as positive as I can when I review third-party racing games. I never like to be negative about them because, like I said, they are enormously talented and they want to put themselves out there and release something that they hope is going to be great, that everyone's going to love. So we'll start with the positives, but I'm going to be as honest and as unbiased as I possibly can with you. Now, graphically, as you can see, uh, the game is not a bad looking game. It's very smooth. There is no pop up. There are no frame rate dips. The game runs very smoothly. Um, the colors are OK. I'd say personally, I find them a little bit washed out. Um, of all the tracks I've raced on, of the ones that are initially available, uh, the colors don't pop out at you. They are rather washed out. I mean, you can tell what colors they are. But um, I believe they could be more, let's say, eye-poppingly impressive, but they're not. But nevertheless, you still have a very smooth running game. Now, the game does what it says on the tin, Animal Kart Racer. So you can choose between um, different cute animals with their respective cute car with very, very minor stats as in you know handling top speed braking so on and so forth so don't expect anything along the lines of uh, you know gran turismo or assetto corsa or any, anything like that this isn't a simulation kart races are never simulations they are what they are kart races are supposed to be fun arcadey responsive snappy and this is where the gameplay comes um, into conversation now Gameplay wise, I'm not terribly impressed. The handling is a little bit clunky. It's not very responsive. Um, there are lots of obstacles scattered around on the tracks, as you can see. And these obstacles are a bit of a pain in the ass because they do make you lose many, many valuable seconds while you're racing. And they do slow you down a hell of a lot. Some of them to the point of tipping your kart racer on its side so you end up scraping along the track driving on on your side until you can get out of there and then in, in the meantime all of your opponents have overtaken you and there you have it so because this game is aimed at the younger generation of players they're going to get a little bit frustrated when they find that they just can't get out of a rut usually when you pick up and play um, a very decent arcade racer, uh, as in especially kart racers. I am going to mention some of the good ones out there. Crash Team Racing, Jack's Combat Racing, Disney Speedstorm, um, even the, the new LEGO 2K racer, um, uh, Sonic Racing Transformed, for example, and even there's a Smurf racer that's out, was released about a week or so ago, and that's even better than this one. Now, with those ones, you've got that arcadey pick up and play feel where it's snappy where it's responsive where it does what you tell it to do and even if you do make a little mistake or if you get hit by somebody else's power up you've got about a split second or a second at the most where you can just pick yourself up put yourself back on track and you've got a chance 
to redeem yourself by blasting your way to the front of the pack again. So you still have, you know, a nice challenge, but it's a comfortable challenge because kart races are all about fun. And to make a kart racer fun, you have got to make it arcadey to the extreme. You've got to make it responsive. It has to do everything you tell it to do and immediately. This one unfortunately falls short in that department and it's those obstacles that are a very big part um, in making the gameplay not so fun because they slow you down so much. In fact, you know, I'm a really experienced gamer and I haven't yet come first in this game. So you can imagine if a kid's playing through tournament and they're going to get really frustrated. So I say the game is in need of patching for some extra responsiveness and perhaps the power-ups, you need to make them a bit more exciting because as it stands, they're not very good. I've got a missile here. Now, I've only ever hit somebody once with it because I was directly behind them. There aren't any homing missiles. There are no area of effect effects or anything like that. Nothing. Here's one ahead. Look, he's right ahead. I'm going to fire this thing. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Tell you what, let's choose another track. Hang on. Let's go to choose circuit. Now, let's choose one of the new ones. In the game's favor, as you can see, the loading times are non-existent. You know, you just select your mode of play or you can exit the game and choose another, another track. It does so instantly. Within a few seconds, you're on a different course. So no loading times very smooth scrolling definitely a hundred percent um half decent gameplay well personally from having been a very experienced gamer since the 70s and with a massive sort of array of games behind me and plus a lot of birthdays my experience tells me to rate this game about six out of ten is it worth the £15.99 it's available for? No. I say wait till it's on sale for about five or six pounds, no more than that, and you can give it a whirl. Um, again, in the game's favour, it does have 24 courses. That's a lot of tracks to get through. So, you know, by the time you've unlocked them all in tournament mode and by the time you've seen them all, you'd have played the game a fair amount. But once you've done all that, you won't want to do it again and you'll probably like myself regret having spent 15 pounds 99 on it i would say if you're among those that haven't yet bought crash team racing or disney speedstorm or even the smurf racer that's out it has fewer tracks it's only got eight but all of the other races i've mentioned um they are much more worth your time unfortunately this one doesn't quite reach the finish line Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this review. And um, first of all, many, many thanks to all of my new subscribers and for enjoying my previous review of NASCAR Arcade Racer. That's had more than 4,000 views. So hopefully I can bring you some more games that have not yet been showcased on YouTube so you can see what they're like. But um, yes, if you want my honest opinion, don't part with your money. Ciao, ciao.